If you're looking for the biggest, baddest, maybe, maybe not baddest. Baddest is probably a bad word for that. Maybe fanciest? Yeah, fanciest. Biggest, fanciest, most expensive luxury neighborhoods in Northville, Michigan, you found the right video. You ready? Because we're starting now. If you're new here and new to me, my name is Paul and I make videos about all sorts of cities, towns, areas all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. So if you like what you see, consider subscribing because there's a good chance I'm going to cover some of the areas and places that you're interested in. And if you want to move to any of these areas, reach out because I'm also a full-time real estate agent and I've helped hundreds of people buy millions and millions of dollars in real estate all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. So there's a good chance I can help you too. Uh -huh. All right, so Northville, Michigan, home to a whole bunch of beautiful homes and beautiful neighborhoods. But we're not just looking at the big multi-multi-million dollar mansions here. We're talking about actual individual neighborhoods with crazy fancy houses. These are luxury neighborhoods, the biggest and best luxury neighborhoods in Northville, Michigan. All right, so the first one on our list is Steeplechase. So Steeplechase was built by Toll Brothers in 2004 to the late 2000s. It's located at six mile and back on the far west side of Northville. Like as far as you can go, that's where it's at. And it's still in the Northville School District. That's important because there are homes in Northville that are not in the Northville School District. I made a whole video about it. You can check it out here. So these houses in Steeplechase are all a monster size. They're all over 5,000 square feet, all the ones that sold past year and all sold from anywhere from 900,000 to 1 million plus. So big houses, big money. And the lot sizes here are about a half acre. Now, when you think about that, you're like, oh, a half acre lot, but you've got a monster size house. You have a 5,000 square foot house on a half acre lot. Like I have friends with a thousand square foot house on a full one acre lot. So you, if you're gonna be in a neighborhood like this in a desirable area, you have to just like pick your battles. You're probably gonna have a small lot if you're gonna be in a neighborhood. What I love about Steeplechase is they have sidewalks on both sides of the street. That might sound like a crazy thing to be excited about, but when you are a parent of small children and you just send them off into the wild to go ride their bike around, it gets a little nerve wracking when there's no sidewalks and they're just in the street and you've got people driving up and down. The other thing I like about Steeplechase is they have an awesome clubhouse with two pools, a playground, a bunch of stuff. It's like right in the middle of the subdivision. Just tell your kids to go play. Just take the sidewalks, right? Just take the sidewalks down. Go play at the playhouse, mm. clubhouse. Mm. Playground, that's it. All right, so the association here in Steeplechase is about $1,500 a year right now, but you get a lot for that. Like you get all the things, right? So you get to enjoy all that stuff. It's not like some of these neighborhoods where you pay a bunch of money and you don't get anything in return for it. And what I don't like about Steeplechase is it's super close to the landfill slash trash mountain. You can't miss it. It's huge. Looks like a ski hill. I'll never forget when I was helping a family move here from Georgia and we're driving down the street and he says, is that a ski hill? Can we go skiing on that? I'm like, you do not want to go skiing on that thing. So gross. Ugh. Like seagulls flying all around it. Some sort of birds. Next question I always get about that hill is, can you smell it? I can smell it. And the answer is yeah. Uh, yeah, you can. Um, if the wind hits it right, you know, if it's a hot day and it hits it right, it's inevitable. It's a trash hill. I mean, you don't smell it all the time, but people say that they do smell it. Other families say that they never smell it. So I guess maybe Maybe it has more to do with your nose than anything. Then again, you're gonna be living in like a five, 6,000 square foot house. What do you care? Just stay inside. Hang out inside, maybe in your crazy finished basement. You'll be fine. I still smell it. Next up on our list is Moncare, Northville. Mon Moncare? You know, I Googled this to figure out exactly how to say it, and it said Mooncare. Mooncare. Mooncare? Mooncare. Mon, Mon that we're gonna go with that. Mon Carey, Northville. So this sub is located at seven mile west of Ridge Road, basically right next to Steeplechase. This is a former equestrian property, so horses used to run all through these properties. This again is Northville with Northville Schools. Makes sense because it's right next to Steeplechase and we already, we just talked about that. According to the Cranbrook Homes website, so Cranbrook is one of the builders in there. 
I'm gonna read this for you. Mont Carré represents the final luxury custom home opportunity community of its kind in this prestigious area across from Mayberry State Park in Northville Township. Sounds pretty fancy, right? Well, it is fancy. It's super fancy. It's like a mini steeplechase, but without a clubhouse and all that stuff. And it also connects the steeplechase. So like maybe you could just sneak into the club. Don't say I told you to sneak into the steeplechase anything because I don't want to get in trouble for any of that kind of stuff. No funny business. The other big difference between this subdivision and Steeplechase, it's a next door neighbor, is price. The homes in Mont Carré are way more expensive. They're very expensive. The least expensive floor plan in this subdivision offered by Cranbrook was over $900,000 and it was a ranch. And that's before upgrades. So $900,000 before, before you touch it, before you do anything to it. It's already almost a million dollars. The most expensive Cranbrook floor plan in Mont Carré is over 6,100 square feet and starts at $1.2 million. That's your starting price, 1.2. If you can afford it, that's awesome. Call me, I'm your guy. So Toll Brothers, the people who built Steeplechase, also have homes in there, and they're all super expensive too. This past year, there were multiple homes in this subdivision that sold over $1.5 million. So that's $1.5 million plus in a sub. If you want like friends and family and people around, subdivision, that's the way to do it. Not middle of the boonies, unless you're into that sort of thing. Not for me, not this guy. I wanna be around people. One of them had seven bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, and nearly 10,000 square feet. So if you need a really big house, this is your sub. You really can't go wrong with either builder in this sub. I mean, they both make excellent homes. Cranbrook and Toll Brothers, beautiful houses. Now the association fee is only about a hundred bucks a month here, but that, there's not a lot going on. You don't have the clubhouse, you don't have the, the pool, all that stuff. It's a little bit different. Next up on our list is the Stonewater Subdivision in Northville. It's located in between six and seven mile west of Beck Road. And it's filled with four to 5,000 square foot houses. All these houses were built in the late 90s to mid 2000s. So it's not a brand new sub, but it's beautiful. I mean, houses in there are amazing. If you have a chance, drive through, you see what I mean. A lot of twisties and turnies. Now the houses in here will be $800,000 plus, a million plus if you're actually on the water. And when I say on the water, I mean there are six lakes in this subdivision. They're not like giant lakes, they're small spring-fed pond-ish lakes. They're really nice to look at, but you're not gonna see anybody like out power boating, jet skiing. Like they're not that kind of lake. The lakes are actually sort of how this sub got its name. They were originally gravel quarries, so these six pits were originally gravel quarries, so they named it Stone Water. Get it? People who name these subs must be so proud of themselves. I am proud. Now, what I don't like about this sub is they do not have a clubhouse, a pool, anything like that. They just have the lakes for you to enjoy, so that's pretty, you know, that's nice if you live on the water. But what I do like about this sub is it's another one with sidewalks. So if you're looking for a, a subdivision, a big home in a subdivision with sidewalks for you, your family, your dogs, whatever, to go around on, this could be your jam. The other thing I like about this subdivision is there's a little cul-de-sac right by one of the lakes called Fiddler's Cove. Fiddler's Cove. Who's naming these places? Like, the Imagineers from Disney? I love it. I fully expect pirates to be around the bend at Fiddler's Cove, the Stonewater subdivision. If you watch my video about Wald Lake, Michigan, you can watch it here, you know how I feel about pirates. They call me Pirate Paul. Not like recently, this was forever ago. Go watch it after you finish this video. So the association fee to live in the Stonewater subdivision is about $1,200 a year or $100 a month if you're math in it. But if you're paying over a million dollars to live in a subdivision, you probably don't care about a $1,200 association fee. It's not, it's chump change. Next up on our list is the Northville Hills Golf Club Sub. That sounds like a sandwich, doesn't it? It sounds like, you, like I'll have the Northville Hills Golf Club mm, Sub. Sandwich. So this one is located in between five and six mile, right off of Sheldon Road. It's actually right across the street from Northville High School. If you drive down Six Mile, you cannot miss Northville High School. It's huge and it has a mint chocolate, mint, mint green roof on it. And it reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's like my favorite. I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. This sub is actually located 
directly across the street, again, from Bush's Marketplace. It's actually located in Plymouth, but it's right across the street. And I worked there for years. And when I was there, I would continually buy tubs of ice cream and I would eat those like for my lunch. You just gone where ice cream is. And everybody's like, you're gonna pay for that later. You're gonna regret it. Oh no, I, I just loved it. I mean, it was delicious. I'd eat it for lunch, sometimes breakfast. If I was there late enough, it would be my dinner. Just a spoon and a tub of ice cream. So the Northville Hills Golf Club sub is also another one of the Toll Brothers developments. So you know how I feel about that. I love it. Just about every house in this subdivision is over 4,000 square feet. It has anywhere from four to six bedrooms. So they're big houses. They're big houses in a subdivision close to sort of everything. If you don't need all those bedrooms, you use them as like a home office. A lot of people are working from home these days. You don't need three extra bedrooms. Just have three extra offices, maybe a gym, but you'd probably have a finished basement too because the houses are big. The association here is a little more expensive than some of the others. It's about $17.50 a year, but it covers more stuff. I mean, they have a lot going on. You've got a pool, tennis courts, a clubhouse, and you have a golf course. And I mentioned that it's the Northville Hills Golf Club Sub. Golf Club Sub. Golf Course. It's like straight through the middle of this subdivision is a golf course. What I really like about this sub is the location. I mean, you cannot beat the location. You're in Northville, you're right by the high school, and you're minutes away from downtown Plymouth too. So you've got Northville going on, you've got Plymouth going on, and you've got the iconic Heinz Drive just down the street. If you don't know anything about Heinz Drive, it's beautiful. It's about a 17 mile trek. that's just windy streets. I mean, you feel like you're in a, in a car commercial driving there. Just what I don't like about this sub is the lot sizes are pretty small. So you just have to keep that in mind. Like I said in, about some of the other ones, if you have a giant house and you're in a subdivision, you're probably not going to have the biggest lot. The other thing I don't like about this sub is if you live on the golf course, while it's really pretty, you might be getting hit by balls. It might happen. I mean, that sort of thing does happen. They hit the house, things like that. So, you know, Junior could be running around out in the backyard. Oh! beamed by a ball, which that probably isn't a good situation. Not funny. But who knows? Maybe you would love to live on a golf course. Maybe that's your thing. You just like to see golfers out there practicing their swings all day. I'm not a golfer. I don't know anything about golf. So don't ask me anything about golf. I have no idea. I would love to drive the golf cart. So if you want to invite me along to go golfing with you, I'll just be that guy. I'll just be driving your cart. It'll be fun. You can do whatever you want. I'm driving around. So what do you think? Would you like to make one of these subs your home? If so, let me know. Reach out. I'll help you. We'll go look at all the houses and all the subs. All of them. If not, you should check out some of these other videos and playlists around here to figure out where you're going to live. Because like that's that's important, right? You want to you figure that kind of stuff out. So check those out, and I will see you there.